Uncle Reeves. I have it. But I'm not going. I'm not going to. I like that. What what is that? Uh, what kind of light is that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a super. Um, <laughs> oh, we got we got we got, we got a whole bunch of good uh, positive vibes into the building, and we all do radio. Um, I think it's it's that brings up a discussion right away. The competition of radio. We all from different radio outlets. We all have backgrounds in different areas. How are we able to unify with this type of competition that is put on us with the radio media world? What is your opinion on that? That was just something that just came off of mind. He, he, here's my thing. I think that, in my opinion, the FM or, you know, you know everybody knows the rest of your own radio. I feel like they look down upon... Well, we're just superior. We've been here and, and everything else like that. But there are some cold souls out there who are online. And now we're podcasting this at an all-time high. Now, I think if, if there's a way that we could all bunch it in together, that could be a dope situation. But the thing is, with artists, and, he, and you know, you can attest for this, you can attest, um, Trey G can attest, and I can attest, that artists think if you're not on this level, then how my music is really going to get heard. Or are you, oh, what, what, what they say? Oh, you're just an internet station. But you do 90, everything, what kills me, this is what kills me about when they say that. Everything that you do, 95% of everything that you do on your phone or whatever is on the internet. So why does it, why does it matter when it comes down to it when you have people like Everyday Struggle who is solely internet-based, with Joe Budden and uh, DJ Academics, and you have podcasting that are reaching numbers. I'm talking about more numbers than the midday shows on FM radio. What does that really say? I mean, uh, Flying B, how do you feel about that, man? I think it's education. I think sometimes people are not educated on different platforms, and they feel like a lot of times if they're not on a terrestrial signal or a terrestrial radio, period, that they're not a success and a lot of times you have to go to other mediums for terrestrial radio to to notice you and so hence if you're on a q4.org or whatsoever it proves that you're putting in work and doing some different things and then maybe your local station looks at you and so um it's, it's just education you know people understanding the power of community radio and the power of the people behind the mics and um, I tell a lot of the artists that I interview on Fusion um, about, you know, hey, man, you know what I mean? You may not be getting any response back from your local station, but, man, if such and such on this show and then these other shows are spending you, I said, trust me, word is going to get out to those real, major real. big wigs. And then before you know it, they'll be reaching out to you saying, hey, man, I noticed you've been going viral, da 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 Bro, you think you can send us that single? And... That's the way that it's done now. I've, and, and and you know what though, I, I don't. I'm not knocking. You know, I don't want people to think, oh well, I'm. I knock. You know, oh, artists and stuff like that. And me and you talked about this the other day. Um, a lot of artists they want somebody to manage them, mm -hmm. but at the same time, mm -hmm. they always say, oh, managers don't get paid. Yes, they do. Or oh, better yet, managers pay for everything for my career. Mm. Yeah. Can I speak on that? Go, Go ahead, Trey G. Ahead, you know, I'm a managed artist, and I've been doing it for a minute. How long? Talk to us. How I've been doing it since 2007. Since you had your boyfriend? You gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no homo. Church. But, uh, no, I've been doing it for a long time. And um, I started off doing a percentage thing, you know. Real. But if, you, if your artist's not hungry enough and they can't generate any income, how are you going to work? So that means you wasting your gas, you wasting your money, you know, mm. you're not making no money, you know, whatsoever, and they not making no money for themselves. So what I do is I charge a fee. Real, real. They say, well, that's not that's not what a manager's supposed to do. But see, I, I offer a lot more than management. Mm. See, a manager's supposed to just you know keep in contact, get your stuff going, try to push you, try to set up your, your set up your day to day basis. You know what I'm saying? But see, I do photography, I do everything. So it's like they get more. You know what I'm saying? In that. So if I'm charging them three fifty, you look what all you getting though. Yeah, you getting more yeah. than management, but they still want to take you for granted, and you know, and act like they like you work for them. You know what I'm saying? 
and 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 here's my thing. And me and uh, me and Flying B, we talked about this the other day. And I I told him that I felt like this is my opinion, is that I would rather pay up front to the manager. Because let's say if I do blow up, when we do the you know the the contract renegotiations, I could now I have some leverage to say, yo, I paid you up this amount. You're still gonna get paid, but I because I made it this point, I'm I I. I I get some. I get more than you know. Usually, if there was a percentage, because if there was a percentage, let's be honest, let's be real. If there was a percentage, I'm taking. I'm taking at least sixty-five off top. If you make it, mm -hmm. sixty-five off top, because you have to look at it. Let's say I I started working on you from 2010, and and in 2018, you're just now making it big. Oh yeah, I'm taking at least sixty-five off top. That's just me. So I think with artists and this, and me and you talked about this all the time, and, and I just think me personally, me personally, I think artists have to understand you somewhere down that line, you are going to have to put in money for what you're doing somewhere down that line. I don't care if it's from T-shirts, if it's from um, online promotion, somewhere down that line. I, what kills me is that, oh, I'm the hottest dude on the block. <laughs> I'm the hottest guy. I got, but none of these DJs know who you are. No, but they homeboys that live down the street do. They live like maybe two or three blocks next door to them, or better yet, they they cousins of their father's third removed cousin, or they fans, and that 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 makes them big. They can go to a show and don't bring nobody out, but they big. And that's the problem that we having now. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they want to. Do all these showcases? Don't want to bring nobody out, but then want to talk crazy to the promoter. Oh, I, and I know I, it's some shady promoters out here. I know it. They but, exist, but but at the same time, it's just like you artists don't have a fan base. Mm. How do you think you're gonna sell music? You know what I'm saying, or whatever like that. And my thing is, if I can't if I can't pull your stuff up on uh, what is that a Shazam? You're not an artist to me. You don't exist. And you know what, Shazam is becoming even more bigger and bigger now because. Um, so big shout to DJ Damon and uh, Boss Lady of Young Generation Music. They told me about this. DJ Damon told me about Shazam. He said program directors are looking more at Shazam numbers mm -hmm. because it, it, it shows that okay, well the the one the the music is bubbling, not just in you know a, a certain region, but maybe a national a national thing or whatever, and. It's crazy because oh, people tell me all the time, oh, I got ten thousand views on YouTube. Well, that's I I know personally that's fake. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put you on blast that way, <laughs> but I know personally because I it know. just it just doesn't add up because it's ten thousand followers. You have zero likes. Nobody has commented on there, but there's ten thousand views on that motherfucker. I mean, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bleep bleep bleep. Yeah. It happens. That's when, what we call it, passion. It happens when you got passion. You know, you just stuff come out sometimes you can't control because it's just like Please, passion. F U C don't don't come and find me. It was just it was just out of love. Did you say F U C. Yeah, F U C U man. I F U C U. I F U C U too. Uh, but. It's just because I just think that a lot of times artists, they think that, okay, well, I blew up off of SoundCloud overnight. No, you didn't. You either had a bag or you knew somebody. Mm. Let's keep it real, man. man. Like It's so crazy. It's so foo-foo out here. You know, like I tell people, too, if I, if you ain't, if, hey, if you ain't trademark, if your name ain't trademark, your stage name, mm. if you got to sign your contracts with your government name, you're not an artist to me. You don't exist. So you saying that they need to do more research than just sitting in the studio smoking yeah. something and yeah. study it, right? Exactly. Okay. If your music ain't copyrighted, who? who you copyrighted? If your music ain't copyrighted, you can't pull that mug up. Matter of fact, you can't even do BS spins, yeah. BDS spins without copyrighted music. Exactly. Exactly. So how are you going to get mad if you're not getting radio play or seeing these numbers pop up on the streaming you know people, when you don't even have your music copyrighted? You know, it's not even mastered. Yeah, you, know you can't even people, go copyright. Exactly, and I, like I put out a deal the other day. I said, "Man, look, for two for one fifty, I master three of your songs. Mm. I ain't getting no hits. Mm -hmm. Cause you know why? People don't care about that. Why not? 
They won't tell you. Like, I got this one. There's one artist in my inbox all every week. Hey, big bro, I'm going to holler at you. I'm going to work with you. I blocked him. You know why? Because you always in the same How many times you going to tell me you going to work with me? If you ain't spending no money. And it ain't even about the money. It's about your career. If I see that you lacking. You, 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 I'm going to tell, tell you what they always tell me. It can help both of us. It can't help. Is that right? <laughs> what can you help? Like, I mean. I'm just chiming in. I guess it's an open floor kind of format talk. talk. Yeah, just talk. You can help me, yes, that's true. Only when you have something to help me with. Now, if you don't have a following, if you don't have a brand, if you're not trying to support what I'm doing to support you, then how are you actually helping me? You're really draining me because I got to promote effort to promote you while I'm pushing my brand. Ooh, now. I like Come that. Come on, preach most person. So, I the like thing that. about me is I'm so passionate. Like, I'm giving a whole little sermon right now. My hand's moving so Hallelujah. much. Hallelujah. But yeah, that's there where the go. bell. That's there we the go. Bell comes in. I love that bell. Oh my God, <laughs> service is about to begin. Look, I mean, I love artists. I'm an artist myself. I kind of took the backlash of it, but I dropped a project. I linked up with a distribution company out of New York in 2012. You can find my music anywhere: Bro. Pandora, Spotify, iTunes, yeah. anything like that. I don't even promote it because aspect at that time I didn't really like that project i just want to see if i can do it yeah so i can coach the next person the process of actually getting your music played but the thing about it is artists everybody's artists like they say everybody's djs mm, that's so true. if everybody's an artist and everybody's a dj what separates us because everybody think i'm a dj i'm not a dj i'm just a radio personality but i also host mixtapes if you want your mixtape hosted by me i like you know what i'm saying but it's just the fact that man like I don't understand it. Like, you know what I'm saying? They they question me. Oh, uh, big homie, what can you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you, thank you. It actually got to press the button again. It's, okay, but my thing is like, I don't understand. Like, why question me and ask me, what can I do for you? And th then you want to tell me something. But I have a product that, you know, is for you guys, for you artists. Real. I don't understand it. Like, he, 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 and my bad for cutting you off. Today. Here's the big. Here's the bigger situation. This is how I feel. Artists, they're really and truly they're scared because they're not going to tell you that. But but that's what it comes down to. Where's that money? This like I told you. If you think you're that hot, put some money towards it. Put some money on it, and let's see how much you really are. Because I'm gonna tell you. The, I'm gonna tell you the real reason. If a song's hot, it's hot. That's been proven over and over and over and over again. It's been proven time and time again. If a song's hot, it's hot. But my thing is, how are you going to get the song to these DJs? Are you out there shaking hands and meeting DJs and this, that, and third? Are you really about the crime or are you just really about the fame? Mm -hmm. mm. That's Bail, the... bail, man, bail. <laughs> That's the real question. Are you really about the grind or are you just really about the fame? Because if you're really about the grind, sooner or later something's going to happen. I've been grinding Saitano Radio. You guys know I've been grinding Saitano Radio about four or five, at least four years now. Coming into four years. And the thing is, is that you can't stop grinding. It has to keep going. But... If you're the type of person, oh, I feel like I should get paid for 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 appearances. I should get paid for you know the, the you know pay souls in the club. But you can't bring a pain soul into the club. Not Ooh. a soul, a pain soul. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that word play? <laughs> a paid soul. A paid soul. <laughs> I'm just being real. You want this? Some real game. I get it. Peso, peso. <laughs> That's that artist side coming out of me, like. Yeah, but no! <laughs> right but ahead. but he, he, here's here's the, here's the real deal, and and this and you get mad at the promoters, all oh, the promoters. He's shady. Sometimes you just can't bring people in the club. Let's just I, I'm gonna call it square square. If it's if it's a circle, it's a circle. You just can't bring paying people in the club. If you got five thousand people as your friends on Facebook, you should have twenty five hundred dollars. Off a, a dollar off of iTunes. Every, yeah, every person. All you need is a dollar. Yeah. You know, somebody told me that. Like, yeah. Like, if you can get, oh my God, like, every, like, this is what he said when I was making my promotional package. Because I, I can reach over 20,000 people with my network alone. Those 20,000 people should cost everybody that wants to invest in it a dollar a person. Mm. Maybe not. 
that much. I might drop it down or whatever. But based on that, yeah, you should be able to get a dollar out of everybody. Ten dimes, 20 nickels, four quarters, 100 pennies. You should be able to get a dollar out of anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm. Anybody. Matter of fact, you can swap up a dollar and invest in yourself enough to come on that that, that scale that they raise you off of. You can do it. Real. Real. If you really want to dedicate, you got to invest in it. It's, even if it's your own investment, you have to invest in it. Yeah, you have. And the thing is, is like, why should I invest into you? You can't do it yourself. If you if, if you can't do it yourself, that's mm -hmm. how promoters he, he, look. When when you get record deals, and and these guys, these investors, or whoever puts money behind you, they want them to see that investment. They want a return. They want a return. You think. That they're doing it because they really genuinely like your music? Maybe some. But let's think as a businessman. Mm -hmm. And let's take it back to the pimping days. I'm going to take it back to the pimping mm. days. If I got a girl, if I got two girls, one girl's ugly and one girl's beautiful. Just saying. But one, the ugly girl got a big booty. Here, here where I'm going with this. The ugly girl got a big booty. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the beautiful girl... Got the cha chas. <laughs> cha chas. <laughs> so, if I'm I'm the type of guy, I'm gonna market that big booty ugly girl to a, a, a to people who have butt fetishes. Yeah. People who have, um, you know, kind of cellulite fetishes. I mean, there's a lot of fetishes in the world, but I'm just saying, there's there's a lot of stuff that people t can do. But if I'm gonna market those two girls differently yep. because you have to think as a businessman you have to know that at the end of the day it's a business just like we talked about the management it's a business why the hell shouldn't i get paid and you're making if i if i'm the reason why you blew up why shouldn't i have some of that jermaine dupree i mean bow wow can never tell jermaine dupree no never i'm sorry i went on the rant go ahead I'm but pastor. but we it, need this. Hallelujah. But at the end of the day, you think <laughs> I'm not saying there aren't real people out there. I'm not saying that being real and 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 being phony are two different things. We all know that. But at the end of the day, me and Trey G are are real good business partners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm never going to come to Trey G empty-handed and say, "Oh well, yo, Trey G, I I I need help." Unless I have something of value to him that will equal that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. So that this is where the barter system comes in. This is uh -huh. a, the barter system was based on value. We do it all the time, don't we? Exactly. If I have let's say if I have a TV and you at that point in time you need a TV. So for you that's value for you okay, well I, I need a TV. I'm going to give you the same amount of value Right. As if, you know, if you were paying me this this amount of money, so yeah. I think that's that's the real Let deal. Let me put in another system in the fat terms. Oh my god! If he got a he got a sweet tooth, right? Ooh. But he wants some cake and pies, right? <laughs> but I'm more of a beef and potato type of dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna say, hey, your girl make me a sheet. Oh, no, no. I'm going to have my mama make you a sheet of German chocolate cake and have your girl make me a pan of neck bones with potatoes and carrots. You see what I'm saying? We, we switching off. Right. We switch off. Yeah. You so guess, you, big you accommodate the food. my likes, I accommodate <laughs> yours. yours. Exactly. Fat people turn. Bank, bank. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. I knew I heard and, the and, bell. And the thing Hit is. Hit the bell for me one time for that. Thank ching, you. Ching, ching. Bartering. The word of it is bartering. And and the thing is, is that this is the this is the real crazy part. Is I, I, we're having a good conversation. I want some neck bones, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even eat neck bones. There, there's a taco joint across the street. I don't eat neck bones. That was just the, the thing that I won't oh. like, offer. Like I want that bartering ship. <laughs> but he, but here's the real deal. Here's the, and this is what I ask artists. What are you doing to get your music out there? And that's really a more deeper question than a lot of people take it as. Because a lot of artists, oh, I'm, I'm, people hit me up, oh, I pass it to a couple of DJs. That's nothing telling me anything. I, I know a whole bunch of DJs that just have songs after songs in their They email. don't listen to them. I mean, 
Go ahead. We listen to them, but we get so many of them that we don't probably listen to yours. Mm. That's when the relationships come. Right. Oh, wow. so, so you so, got to build relationships. So Speak network, system. right? Yeah. Network, yeah. relationships. That's right. They go neck and neck. Yeah. Business, one on one. So the thing about it is you can send DJs, oh, man, why you even play my record? Why you play my record? Well, first of all, are you following me on IG? Mm. Are you listening to my radio show? Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, what is my what is my hashtag? It's in all my mixes. I only really give those who I know personally on a relationship that we have built over the years right. and those who I see constantly grinding and has given me receptive back to what I've given them. Like I reached out to Sir Prime King, who's now on that uh, Irv Gotti show, BET Tales. His music is always getting played. But I found him on IG and I instantly fell in love with his music. Now, if your music is good, right. that's a different story. Real. Yeah. If you, if you just generally like the song. Exactly. So... DJs, some DJs actually will find some good talent and be like, hey, yeah, I want to work with you. But then it'd be your end of the artist to be like, yeah, let's work, shake hands, let's, what I got to do for you, what you need, some drops. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to send my drops with my song without even asking you what your drop script is. Like, they already going to send it. Yeah. Because they're like, okay, I, I've been watching them. I know what they want, I know yeah. what to say. So, yeah, relationships, uh, network. Is it who, who, I don't know who told me this, but your, your network, your nep. Your Net- network is only as strong it's as your net, net worth. worth. Yes. That's true. Yes. Ooh, yes. Bail and repeat that again. Your network is only as, as strong, strong as, as your, your net, net worth. worth. So, with okay. that being said, get your network up to be worth more than what you thought you were. Can, can I speak on something? Well, no, go ahead. This is open it's a, it's a. I want you to get this for me. Get this for me. Oh, God. He it's, going. It's, some, it's some stuff. Oh. You know him. I'm going to speak on this. William WDP. Okay. The the guy who came, I met him. He was with Ishi Arrogance. Okay. So we're in, I, I'm not in spiteful. Everybody, don't put him in. Don't put don't put Brian in there, man. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm doing it myself. I'm doing it myself. So there's some stuff going on. I'm clearing my name. I have nothing to do with it. But the FCC is he's under investigation. Wow. Yeah, and he tried to. Now he's trying to call people and tell people that I'm a snake because I pulled out of the situation because I don't want to be in that. He lied about his company, basically. Oh. But my thing is this. he I got to try to tell him, like, dude, he only used me. Like, he wanted to use the fleet. He said, well, I want DJ Malone and I want a whole bunch of DJs to come do the mixtape. I said, bro, they're going to charge you. But it's like when people try to act like they up here and you're not there, but you want to use my people. That can't happen. It's a It's a charge with that. Everything with me is a charge. If you want me to connect you to somebody, it's a charge Why for that. Please? Yes. There you Why go. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But see, the thing was, it's in business and especially in black business, you got to learn how to put your price on everything. You know mm, what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. I put your price on everything because at the end of the day, and if it's not on black and white, sometimes black and white is not good. Because if I would have did like paperwork with him, I would have been associated with that. I'd have been on the investigation mm, because because you put you put your name on it because I put my name on it. But see, God told me not to do it because you know I got you know I'm king of paperwork. I do that. Yeah, yeah. But something told me not to do it. But see, my thing is this: when you don't put your price on something, you wasting your own time. Mm. Well, he, he, and he, you can't he, complain about he, somebody wasting your time because you wasting your own time. Here's, here's the thing about with black people, and this is this what, and, and I'm, and you know, I don't like talking down to my race, but it's the truth. Black people, we have a problem with paying for stuff. We want everything yeah. free, yeah. But because, but not everything. Free but see, <laughs> and and the thing about with even with discount and free stuff is that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I just want to address like that noise that we heard in the background. For some reason, I seem to have to have people craziness follow me. I don't know why it is that it happens <laughs> that people just be singing out loud, walking down the street. So I'm not surprised. I sat here and I was like, go figures. I go to another radio show. Some crazy person walking down the street singing loud. We yeah. trying to do this radio that's, show. That, that's that's yeah. It, it happens all the time. That's Chicago, man. It happens but, all the time. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about what I will say about um, about us as 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 a community as black people. I I charge for for New Year's. I charge four fifty or five to come out 
I'm not for New Year's. This is not this is not an everyday thing. And I feel like four fifty five hundred is an honest answer. If you want quality, pay, pay for quality. It. Yes. Yeah. That's Damn. all I'm saying. If you want quality, pay for quality. Look, sometimes I know this dude charges. Let's say it's a guy charges fifty dollars for for a flyer. Now I might pay for that because I know for a fact it's quality. It's quality. But here's what you can do: give this dude enough money and build a relationship with him to where you come back and say, okay, I'm going to give you $200. Can you give me six flyers? And he might do it. I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm I'm, I'm not saying that, okay, if 50 is not in your budget, then it's not in your budget. But what I am saying is to you is that sooner or later, you're going to have to start making relationships with these people in order to, to help, Build your situation because, like I said, quality is everything, man. I don't, I don't want to go to a place where, I, if it's all if it's all black people, I don't want to be there sometimes mm. because I know it's, it's eventually it's going to be some BS around it. A lot of these promoters they try to book me and they try to get me to come out and all that. I don't do none of that door stuff no more. Right. None of that. You, you're gonna give a deposit. And then you're going to, uh, then when I get there, when I walk through the door, money in hand. I'm not trying to hear none of that. Oh, well, I got to get you. No. It's, if you tell me that, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I have done gigs where I waited to get my money. You got to. Because at the end of the day, if you, and, and just like a black woman, I always tell people this. Or, or even guys. I tell guys this, or women this, period. I tell everybody this, but it goes really for women. If if a woman is getting disrespected by a man because you allowed that to happen, a black woman will not get disrespected. I know my mom would. My mom whooped my ass. I ain't gonna lie to you. My girl could probably do it if I pushed her to the limit. Right. But I'm just saying, you people do what you allow them to do. Mm-hmm. So if you say, okay, well that's cool. I'm. Uh, I guess so. And you really have a problem with it. Right. Go crazy. That's true. I don't, look when I see, when I seen Damon Dash go crazy in the Rockefeller meetings, I understand that because <laughs> good help is hard to find nowadays. So that's all. Man, let's get into some music, man, because we're getting too deep. But I <laughs> but I want to ask you guys this before we go, and then we're going to answer when we come back. In this day of age, how can an artist get a buzz? Beer. We no, no. we we all can answer that in some <laughs> aspect, right? So, yeah. um, how can ours get a buzz? I mean, what I've learned is a lot of labels do. You look at blog sites, they look at blogs, they look at the media presence, they look at your. They don't really trip off your IG numbers with people because I'm fake. Like you said, YouTube views kind of can be fake. Right. They don't really look at your IG. They might follow your hashtags now. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, blogs. Um, co-signings, mm-hmm. big people co-signing you, um, just your own brand. Like if that if your brand pop up in their network and they face, they gonna like I want this person because they know you put all that effort to get your brand in their face. Real, real, real. It's a it's a triple effect. So blogs is my 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 chime in. What's y'all? Um, kind of like the same thing. It's like I think it takes grind, and I think you have to mm-hmm. say cans. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people numbers you're gonna have to put in your phone, whether you're gonna use them or not. It, <laughs> it's real handy to, to to have them in your phone. Um, Back up your contacts too. <laughs> Google <laughs> that that too. Um, yes. yes. Uh, also, going out there and having a videographer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That 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 you know, leave a video trail, not just a paper trail. But a video trail because pe- people want to see what we're doing. We live in a day of age where everything's visible. So yeah. bring your photographer, bring a videographer, and if you're doing a set or or if you're DJing or if you're an artist, have that res- have that set and get quality people. I'm not saying people who who just suck, but get somebody. Go to a college because there there are some striving people in colleges who just want a chance and who are willing to say you know what I'm just trying to get my feet wet I'm cool with you know charging very little or free 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to do the, the lengths like that, man. You know, there's a lot of people in, at Columbia. There's a lot of hungry people out there yeah. who want to make something out of themselves, man. So, um, you know, get a website, not just a homepage. Get a real website. Presentation is everything. And most PC build websites. All of them. Oh, wow. Plugger. I forgot you knew that. Plugger, I built websites, y'all. I actually built um, the Midwest Fleet DJ website. I built the DJMostPrecious.com website. Uh, and I built one of the fellow Fleet DJ, DJGoldabean.com uh, website as well. So I'm building it. And at the pack, like you said, you got to start places, start early. So that means you get the prices at the early rate. And so I'm building them multi million sites. Yeah. You might get a plugger. So, yes. Exactly. Thanks man. for that plug, Trey G. Appreciate you know, that. You know, it's all about the Fleet, baby. So all day, every day. I, I want to get back into the mix, and because I, I love when she, she mixes, I love that. Um, make sure you guys stay in tune at Satan of a Radio, Facebook, Instagram. I don't have a Twitter for Inst- uh, uh, for Satan of River Radio because I think it's obsolete. That's just me. I have a back page. I have. Uh, we getting you a site in 2018. Um, I have a. Uh, um, Even if I got a building, I, I got a uh, uh, what you call it, a Craigslist. A black planet, a <laughs> black my, planet, a MySpace. That is not even really tag. real anymore. Um, a Christian tag, Mingles. Christian Mingles. <laughs> what is Christian Mingles? Man, it's a lot of a lot of Christian uh, Christian people goes to be thoughts. <laughs> oh, okay, Christian Mingles. And mm. then you can slide me left or right. I don't care either way. It doesn't matter to <laughs> I'm me. I'm done. So let's go ahead and get it back into the mix with DJ Most Precious, man. Satire of Radio. We're going to come right back. Hey, man, so, uh, what time is it? We're going to come right back in the next about 10 minutes, man. Stay in tune. The one and only DJ Malone, Trey G, Flying B, DJ Most Precious. It's something epic. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right now, I'm going to drop this exclusive from Fleet DJs. Be breaking it. Big Git featuring Dez Dillinger type of girl. You know what it is. Fleet Nation. I used to do that on Trey G, so just come out of nowhere, just Shout out to radio, man. The best place to be at on any day, ready, man. How's, how's everybody doing today, bro? We got DJ Most Precious is in the building. She's our special guest, DJ. We got Flying B. Hold on. What up, man. people? How's everybody doing, man? We got Trey G, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trey G in the building, man. What's up, Trey G? Yeah, chill, so chill. Um, I gotta add more amps to that because he's just like Trey G. No, no, <laughs> you just don't understand, Trey. <laughs> whatever. Just, <laughs> Trey G know what it is, man. I know. What is it? I know what it is too. Trey, Trey, Trey G likes um. I don't know. I don't know what he likes anymore. Um. Oh Lord, man, Trey, man, you converted over, man. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna lie though. I called him like when I was like this summertime when I was I was on a Molly or what? what no, I was smoking some some Can I good. Tell the story? Go ahead, go oh, ahead, Lord. go ahead. Tell okay. the story, Trey. So the story goes like this. He called me and he was off the Molly. Off Lane. the Bali. Lean. Bali and Lane. What you and want? He called me and tell me, guess what I'm doing, Trey? <laughs> I said, what? He said, I'm, I'm laying butt naked in the bed with a, a red bow on. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. No. I was like, man, this dude, this dude crazy. What? I was like, come on, man. You, I'm a little worried. I don't want to hear all that. What? I'm a little worried. I, I didn't care. I didn't care. I just wanted him to know that. I needed him to know oh, that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Suspect, right? We said the same yeah. thing. I don't. I don't That's care. I don't care. Wow. I know what I am. I, say that was suspect. I know what yeah, I am. That was very suspect. I, I look. And I don't care. Eye movement. You see his eye? Yeah, I see. <laughs> I love it. That was very suspect, man. I didn't care. Right. I didn't care. Hole. That was very suspect. <laughs> I love it. I love it because he put the eye with the words, man. <laughs> that was, that was suspect. Hey. Look, man, we having a good time here, G. We having a good time. 
<laughs> but the, the the question was when we can how do artists get a buzz, man? How do how do artists in this day of age get buzzes? Well, there's a lot of ways you can, can get a buzz. Mm-hmm. Um, you could do something stupid online, and that could help you. Are the twerk videos making people famous? Yeah. Uh, you can go um, and get a bag and spend oodles and oodles of money on promotions. Um, if you don't have that, grind. Grind out. So And then bartering. Yeah, because you know some of the most you know unfortunate ones that don't have like that 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 insignificant amount of money that they get illegally right. to to front their money, they have to use a lot of bartering systems. Yeah, bartering yeah. systems is basically still about building your own brand, so you have to have something that another person can barter with you. Yeah. So I do every if I do everything, they're gonna be like, "What can I barter you with, most? Because you do everything, but still ways to do it. Support then. Do you think? Do you think in this day of age, um, huh? Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to, cause that, that, where's that thing that you know that you where's know, the selfie stick? There's no selfie stick here. Oh, I, I, I don't. Well, I, I'm looking nice. I should be on a selfie. Well, yeah, you, you look good. You look good. As I, always. I'm, 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 I can bring that female energy. I'm the only one in here. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up. Get yeah, the bell. That's what I'm talking about. But. It sounds like a Jello commercial when y'all do that. Man, it sounds like you going in the store and nobody at the front desk and they push that bell, man. Hey, hey everybody! That sounds like the principal office is at freaking elementary school. <laughs> when nobody has a bell. Now that I think about it, when you, when you go to Subway, Subway has a exactly. bell. Exactly. You ring the bell for, for the service. Person. Right, for service. That's what I said. When right. you rang it, when you rang it the first time, I was like, yeah, let me give him this service. Because that's exactly what that bell <laughs> reminded me of, man. I swear. I swear. No, you remember them bells, like whenever. um. You go into the store, and I can't say the word, but it it rhymes. You know, it, it says the N word. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to Trey. <laughs> Leave it to Trey. <laughs> but you didn't say the whole word. Yeah. yeah. Hurry up and buy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. No, man, no, no, it's a society, man. No, 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 no. What, what, what that Chinese woman always? You break, you buy. You break, you buy. You break, you buy. Which one was it was in that movie? Uh, Minister to Society in the store. Which know. one was it? They say you break, you buy. They say, oh, you Minister Society? Yeah. What, yeah. They, they, they said something crazy, too. But they, it, be, it be for real like that. I don't remember I, it. I went to Chinatown one time. I don't remember it. And when I went to Chinatown, I got this, like, this real bad vibe because I'm a black man in Chinatown. And not saying that they're, I'm not saying that they're racist. That's not, I'm man, putting that's that out not there. Racist stereoty- they're stereotypes. Yeah. But is that when I go inside the store, you here? You here? Why you here? Is there oh, something yeah. for you? I can't talk about it. Um, they did that to you? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. You know what? No, no, no. We went to uh, a China buffet. And my mom, she's crazy. Like she, 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 she has no filter. Y'all think I'm crazy? Our OG don't got no filter at all. Wow. So like, and my mom was like 400 pounds around that time, and she like when she go off, she take off her glasses and she get a look and she put her glasses right here and put on her hand on her hip. So we ate first, so we paid. They gonna say we didn't pay, so they locked the door. My mama got up. She said, "Let me tell you something. We don't steal." We paid. Here's the receipt. You better unlock that door. If I throw all y'all out that window, and we gonna walk out about here. Literally, they like, we don't want no trouble. We don't want no trouble. We don't want no trouble. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> got scared. Everybody was like trying to do that, to do their air calls to the back man. kitchen. Like, man, we got problems. <laughs> we need help with the front. I'm man. trying to tell you, man. That's how they really be, man. Like, so like. Good. I I just know I just know living in Chicago, man, it's just I can tell you so many funny stories in Chicago that it's just unbelievable here. Chicago, but um we we um the thing is about with artists and I think because there's so many of of us into the building and I think it'll just be right just to um go around the room and just kinda say, Hey, this is what I do contact me because i think you know people need to hear that so most people our guest special guest dj man how can people reach in what do you do exactly i'm a artist innovator that's what i'm going to name 2018 i'm going to start 
half and it has a hashtag on my shirt, on my resume. Arts, arts Innovator is just creating any avenue for artists to make it. I'm innovating the game. I'm captivating everything that you can do for your career to grow. Real. Blog, radio, uh, website building, consulting, event planning, tour planning. I can do anything that I put my mind to. Anything that an artist say, hey, most, what do you, what, what can you do? Well, they follow me. They say I do too much and I, I do everything. But the thing about it is I don't do enough. So until we can work, I can create something for you. And my talents are unlimited. Real. It's endless. So I'm an artist innovator. Okay. That's so I'm going to make a whole blog about this. So people read the heck that just was. I just created that, by the way. <laughs> but you can find me, DJ Most, DJ Most Precious, <laughs> on anything. No T in my name. And it's not Most Def. I, I just don't get how people get that confused. I just don't get that. But it's DJ Most Precious. No T in my name. Most Precious. Yeah. Get Precious on them is the hashtag. Get Precious on them is the hashtag. And Get Precious on them is the hashtag. That's what it Make is. Make sure y'all, you know, tune in to me, man. I'm everywhere. Everywhere. See, no, literally. Everywhere. I'm the manager of Missouri Fleet DJs. I'm now, you know, partner. My sidekick, my partner in crime is DJ Malone. As the Midwest Fleet Regional Manager, I'm the assistant. Um, and I'm also over DF Dub Fleet DJs. I'm building these. Like, so let me tell you, if y'all know, it was no Fleet DJs in Missouri. It was, no fleet, it was Fleet DJs in Dallas, but it was none in Missouri, and I built it. I'm going on 10 as of five years. So that tells you it takes time to build something. It took me five years to get to where I am, and I lost four or five in the process. But the thing about it is dedication. Real. Like Malone said earlier, are you in it for the fame or the grind? I guess my choice is the grind. Real. Because the fame has come in with the grind. But you exactly. got to grind to get the fame. Exactly, man. So that was just my, my disclosure, my claim, and my, I'm out of here. Like, Real. Salute, yeah. y'all. DJ Much Precious. A flying B man, talk to us, man. Now, I want to now this this dude. Now, now I'm gonna give a, just a tad bit of backstory. Is that he's very educational when it comes down to radio, man. and and he just he knows a lot. So when you have a guy in your corner like that. I'm like a sponge when I'm around him. I just listen. And, I soaked and, it up on the ride to this radio station. And, I'm still going to ask him for some more when we leave. He's like a god of radio. Yeah, yeah. Man. And, and a lot of people, um, you don't get the credit that you truly deserve, man, because I think, in my opinion, um, you done so much just over the years mm -hmm. um, with Fusion Radio, and, and you have made Fusion Radio to what it is now, and I'm blessed to be a part of that because I say that I'm really blessed to be a part of the radio So as your DJ and everything. Um, he celebrated the 10th the year anniversary, man. 10 years is actually coming in 2018, the first Saturday in April. Okay. Mm. So we're on our way to 10 years, God I'll, willing. I want to come straight there and DJ live. Just for you. Yeah, that's make that happen. Uh, that that invitation is always there. Um, man, look, my career, like real talk, started with the artistry of artists. Like I'm still humbled at this time that even I'm on radio. Like if people would have told me years ago this would be my career, I would say I'm surprised. Like you know, not name dropping, but I went to school, high school with Lupe Fiasco. And it was seeing Lupe Grind and his hype man Bishop G and so many others that inspired me to take radio up as an elective. And so I took radio up as an elective my junior year of high school. I was part of this program called the High School Institute at Columbia College, Chicago, my alma mater. Decided to go there. There's some marvelous things there. And um, the brief story is in 2008, launched Fusion Radio with WIIT. Uh, here in Chicago, and um, I can honestly tell you, like I said on the last uh, show for the year, on December 9th for this year, is that, man, um, I am just, like, so blessed to talk to so many talented people every Saturday and right. to have a platform to share with so many other people, man. So at Fusion Radio 08 is how you can uh, get at me. And, uh, man, I want to hear about Trey J, man. Trey J, the boss. Trey G. J. Official. Jump. Boss. Official Trey G. Uh, what do you do, Trey G? Man, I kind of want to pig piggyback off of uh, Most Precious Innovator, <laughs> if I can. <laughs> Yo, boy, um, I just created it today, so you I, got my permission. I do a lot. <laughs> I do a lot. And um, basically, um, just... Man, I, I try to, you know, help artists. You know, that's my main thing. Like, it's not about any money. 
but it takes money to get the job done. Real. You know? uh. Uh, man, I started off playing drums, man. I'm a, I'm a musician at heart. I'm a composer. I'm an arranger. So it's like I take it very. I take music very seriously. Right. Um, I can read it. I can write it. I taught at Kenwood without a degree for seven years. A marching band instructor. Um, you know, drum drumline instructor. Now I just love the music, man. I love it. I love the business aspect of it because in order to do music and be an artist, you have to learn how to protect yourself. So anytime I have an artist that I'm managing, I always like I manage them, but I teach them to manage themselves because if anything happens, if I don't wake up tomorrow, where are they gonna be at? Real. So all my artists know how to copyright their music, they know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Um and that's just what it is, man. But I you know, I just wanna say, man, shout outs to, you know, most precious, DJ Malone and Flying B, man. Um I've been doing Flying B for like what, two years now? Yes, sir. And this dude, like I called him, he calls me. We chop it up, man. He's like a big brother, man. You know what I'm saying? And I always love to listen to him because he have good advice. Malone, he's younger than me, but I always get... It's not... It's not. It's something how you can have somebody that's younger than you, but still can pave a way and teach you something, mm-hmm. you know, to elevate you. And, you know, we balance each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Most precious. I met her, what, two year, for two years now, Fleet, for two years? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I see her doing her thing. Her grind is unstoppable. And I yes. love a female DJ. Yes. Mm. Because, you know what I'm saying? And that breaks it down, too, with this. You can be a man. You can be a woman. But that doesn't mean anything. It, it, it depends on your grind and your effort. Mm. Because it's it's crazy how a woman can surpass a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. it's, it's like they say... Oh, well, the man got to be the money making. No, 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 no. I see a lot of women. Like, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm dating this chick right now that's 27, and I never thought I'd date a chick that's younger than me. But she motivates me. She brings me up. You know what I'm saying? And she's teaching me some things. So it's not all about the man who wear, who, who wear the right. pants. I don't want to hit it. And I hate right. that stereotype. Oh, well, I wear the pants in a relationship. No, because women wear pants too. And yeah. they wear them better than you. Right. Real, real. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, like I said, it's each one teach one. And it's all about the grind. It's all about protecting yourself as an artist, man. That's what it is, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I do, you know, I dibble and dabble in the website design, but I don't have be having time. I do photography, videography work. Um, Man, I just try to, I just try to make that money, man. Real. And I just try to take care of my people. That's what it is. And it's all about black business. Let me put that out there too. We gotta promote that black business. Black business is better business. You know what I'm saying? Let's put it out there like that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say black that. people. You I know wouldn't what I'm say that. You make me want to walk away from you sometime and go with the white man because guess I wouldn't. What? I wouldn't say that. Huh? I, I ain't gonna go that far with you. What? Black business is the best business. But no, what I'm saying is we can get. Okay, well I feel like we can get it to that point. But us black people gotta be on point. Because right. you will make us go to the Mexican or go to outside our race to, you know, shop with these other people. And I'm not being, you know, I'm not being biased because I love some tacos. I love all this other food and stuff like that. And I love dealing with, you know, because they good landscapers. Right. You know what I'm saying? But This, this, this is black, so stereotypical. God, man, you, know you so kind Black people can be lazy sometimes. <laughs> black people can take the easy way out sometimes. And it's not all about, about taking the easy way out because... It's quality versus quantity. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry if y'all if I offended somebody. Oh well, I'm sorry. But that's just me. But it, and you know what though? I, I I ragged on you a little bit, but it's uh, somewhat it's the truth. Somewhat. I, I'm gonna give you that. Somewhat. <laughs> um well my opinion. That's the real question. That's the, the, the my opinion. Um I'm DJ Malone, I'm the host of this show, I'm a DJ. Uh I do a lot of things, man. I wear a lot of hats. Let's give you the proper opportunity. To be introduced. It's DJ Malone. Please, Man. DJ. So I met this this gentleman. What? Been Fleet Five, going on six. So maybe about the the fourth year in. I met Malone, and he's always been a very very keen person on radio. I looked at his numbers. I was like, what is this guy doing? He manages the models. He's always in freaking Texas doing whatever with Dame. Big. Mm, Big, big opportunities right. within everywhere he goes. Mm-hmm. So, this man right here is just a pleasant person. Mm-hmm. Outside of just music and what he does entertainment-wise, he's pleasant. 
And he's a good vibe person. Like, if you never take time to meet DJ Malone, you sleeping. Because that might be that one, one point in your life that you might be like, dang, I needed that person and I just didn't know where he was. He's right in front of you. So shout out to DJ Malone, man. Tell us about you, man. What's going on? What, what's, man, what's DJ Malone up to? Uh, what I'm up to is I got, I got a lot of... Uh, I got a lot of situations going on, bro. Uh, I got, well, first and foremost, the Fleet DJs. Oh, okay, thank you. I got the uh, I got the Fleet DJs going on. Uh, I'm, you know, I got you with the management and with I'm the regional manager along with you, the assistant regional manager. I manage all the DJs in the Midwest from St. Louis, Chicago, you gotta say Missouri. Uh, Missouri, of course, Colorado. Um, uh, um, what's it, what's it, what's it? Ohio, Ohio Minnesota. And, and Minnesota. I think Indiana. I said Minnesota. Indiana, Indiana. Yeah, cause we got somebody in Indiana and now, Chicago. and Chicago. Um, we do we do a lot of things, man. And for me, I I started doing DJing when I was thirteen, so I'm coming into into a range of. Um, you know, techniques, you know, when I first started, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, the guy who taught me, DJ Stone, sal- salute out to you, bro. He told me, he was ahead of his game, bro, and I told you he was ahead of his game because he told me it's learning turntables like learning a manual shift on a car. If you learn that, you could drive anything. So it's the same thing kind of like with the turntables is is that if you learn that, no matter where you go, you're in the club, if you're doing whatever, you I can DJ on vinyl, I can DJ on CDJs, and a controller. I just prefer a controller because I, I just like the it's vibes. Lighter. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I do. I I have models to help you know build the empire. Shout out to all the models, all the DMP models. Um, big shout out to DJ Damon Boss Lake, Young Generation Music. But I also do photography and videography because somebody messed up on my pictures. And that wasn't going to happen no more. So I educated myself on the craft of, you know, DJing, uh, performing, and different stuff. I tried to do the, the rapping stuff a while back, and it was cool. It just it just wasn't for me. Um, maybe I will dabble into it years now, but it just wasn't for me. So um, I also do promo I do a lot of stuff, man, especially with the Side Town Number Radio. I built Side Town Number Radio just on the thought because I wanted to say what I wanted to say. And and I think um with Terrestrial Radio, it won't it, they won't they won't let me say what I want to say a lot of times because I want to be able to talk about certain subjects like, you know, in like I don't care if this offends people, but I think people are so much into their phones that they we, we we forgot how to be impersonal and i with the with the radio so i want to bring back radio when i was a kid listening to wgci power 92 97.9 the box different stuff and what what trips me out is is that um and i know i say it because we're on facebook live but i think with with, with radio is that it's it's a different type of being not tv but radio because with radio, you you always do it every Saturday. You tell a story with your words, and you describe it to the T. And it's like I learn a lot from that. You know what I'm saying? Because as as a as a radio host, you got to be able to tell a story. And each time that we I step into this room or side time of radio, we tell a story, man. I want to you know bring laughter, happiness educational um i want to slap trey g a couple times if i can um you know what do you do i'm gonna put it on live (laughs) but i'm just i i I, I just i I just be messing with trey g because he (laughs) because he keeps on going and talks about uncle remus and i don't want to hear about i'm gonna gonna put man i wish we had somewhere i could pull up the clip when you talking about uncle remus I don't like. I don't even like they sauce like that because it's too sweet. What? West Side? No. Did y'all heard me if I said I don't like Harold Salt sauce. sauce. You don't like Harold Sauce? What? Not the mild sauce? I say I don't get mild sauce anyway. I get hot sauce. Oh, there you go. So, so you, you, so, 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 you so you really <laughs> are a traitor. Don't be, don't be waiting outside the station for me, y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I mean. Our sauce is black and pepper. So you really are a traitor. <laughs> so how you not like mild sauce, huh? Huh? I bet you. I bet you like Uno. I bet you don't like Uno's either, huh? I never had Uno's. This it's called Uno's. Uno's pizza. Yeah. I never had it. 
What you had then? I, know. Man, I guess that's a that's a date. We gotta yeah. go. Giordano's? I bet you had Giordano's. I had Giordano's, but my yeah, Giordano's. I had Giordano's. Giordano's. Yeah, you have. Mama Luna's. Yeah, I know you did. Cause I get a, fee- a football piece. And I bet you went to Hyde Park with what it too, that? huh? No, I went to Lincoln it's Park. It's shaped like a football. Yeah, and this is like a big old arena. Look like an arena. Oh, oh. And it's like twenty five dollars. Like I, I say, like eight people could eat off of it. So we talking about food. I'm a fan. When I first was coming down here a lot, like in you know, 08, 09, yeah. 10, I used to eat Maxwell's like crazy. See, <laughs> which, 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 do you know which one you went to? Probably the one off the highway somewhere. See, yeah, 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 see, yes, yes. Because I go, I have a Maxwell's by me. There's a Maxwell's by, you know, South, kind of, well, 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 yeah, yeah, but. So what you get? The, the, the. The, the Polish, why wouldn't I? Did you get the regular Polish or the beef? Don't 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 question her like this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know I'm I'm I don't. I didn't eat pork at that time. Okay, so you eat beef. So yeah. I was most likely it was probably beef. But I, I get you trying to be. Don't be. Don't go no, where I. No, I'm, okay. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Beef. I'm talking about the, no, I'm talking about because the, they got two different kinds of. Polish. We got to be sensitive. But we still <laughs> we still get slotted in. We radio people. We know how to still talk about no, certain topics. What did you get though? Like the beef. I, I get the beef. I got I the beef. Be, with I bet the, you uh, do. With I don't the like the I bet you and, do. And uh, the pepper. I bet you do get it. <laughs> See, I know I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking like that. What, I, I made what else him, you get? I made him do that. <laughs> I, I even get the beef polish. Shout out to <laughs> Prophet, <laughs> Prophet, Zoombound, Spencer. He said, "How could he be a part of this?" Uh-uh. Um, doing shout outs on the radio. I hope that's okay. Mom. Okay, that's fine. They like to feel like yeah, 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 yeah. He fine. said, "How could he be a part of?" I, I mean, go go to ShytownUrbanRadio dot com or email us at ShytownUrbanRadio at gmail dot com. There you go, Prophet. That's your that's your plug. So, here, here's my thing. When, before we go into the mix, because I love how most people goes into the mix. When you go there, when you go to um to the joint, you get the polis, right? Uh-huh. And a gyro, don't you? I get the polis and the uh, yeah, number two Whatever, bro. See, you ain't feeling me what I'm trying to feel, man. Like, I go, like, when I was a sorty, like, I went to the Moo and Oinks on 71st and uh, Stoney. Mm-hmm. And I, I went there previously, um, you know, and they turned it into a Dollar Tree now. Right. So it's like they used to kill pigs. I'm not going nowhere where they used. To, I know for a fact they used to kill pigs in the pack. It's a slaughterhouse. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the slaughterhouse. They used to kill pigs in the uh, board went. So that's why I don't go any restaurants in Chicago without hitting up some people that live here. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a restaurant. It was a. It was a store. It was. It was, okay. it was like a, 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 a yeah. yeah, a food Actually, like a had meat market three locations. Uh, West Side, South Side, and South Suburbs. See, but if I wouldn't know that, and I was I like, I thought they only had two. Yeah. Oh, see, they got a slide. So they got the third, three. They got the third one was 108.30. Yeah, you weren't. You, all you, three of them. Yeah, you weren't. You wasn't going over there. You wasn't going over there. Yeah, I Madison, know. Madison was my stop. I yeah. bet it was. Madison was the longest. Madison yeah. was first, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Madison man. was first. And then there was one on um, South South or Lake Shore Drive. Now, what is that? Um. What's the other location? That's the one he was on, on 71st like, and Stoney. Oh, yeah, Stoney. Yeah. Yeah. Stoney. Yeah, man. They, 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 used to kill, they used to kill pigs. I, I'm not going there no more. Like I'm like, yo, like Why they used to kill pigs over here. I used to work at a slaughterhouse. On, 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 what you say? What you say? What you say? They back man, there. They got be, the pencils and the pants. And the candy. Man, that pig is, ugh. But, but you know what? So, and they also took the Dominics too away from me, and that really pissed me off. The, the one I went there on seventy first and uh, Jeffrey, uh-huh. they took my Dominics away from me. Now I'm forced to go to Jules or um. Yeah, Dominics went through a time here yeah. in Chicago where it was really hard for them. It seemed like to survive when you start getting like food for lasses and but you start Aldi's getting uh, Aldi. All the so Aldi has that's really a come out. Chicago up. branded store is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for the most part, you know, yeah, Dominic's like some people got Kroger's. Yeah, no, Texas got Kroger's. No, Texas got Kroger's. I, I, want I want shop and save. These are St. Louis stores. I was looking like, do we have oh, this so, so, Kroger's is all that Texas got. That's even close to what I'm. So, 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 so you've been to the Kroger? I, I have no choice. Right down the street. I went. I went to. Um, what about uh, in, clubs? Remember clubs? Ooh, that's old school. You're going right back. There. I'm God, damn. How old are you? Ooh, come how on, old are you? Yeah, they, uh, Chicago Trey Avenue. Old. How old are you? Trey G's old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he old. <laughs> Ooh, he's Service merchandise. Ooh, service <laughs> merchandise. <laughs> Ventures. 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 What is it? A and M. Zales. What? 
<laughs> this dude did the whole man. <laughs> what you saying, Mom? I want to know about this. this, this All right, so, so so I go to Kroger's, and and you know I I knew about Kroger's, but I never went into Kroger's. Right. And I, w- I went to the one in the suburbs, so it might be, you know, a you know, little bit nicer than the hood ones. Yes. But when I went in there, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. i never been in, and their prices are good, mm-hmm. and they have nice stuff, and it's, you know, it's white people, they smile at me, and I'm happy. <laughs> and, and then I go to another store called H-E-B. <laughs> That's the one I didn't admit, yeah. Yeah. yeah, herb or herb. Uh, yeah, no. They, but I get corrected every time by no. It's H E B. You gotta say H E B. You have to say H E B. You can't. You can't put a word to it. You gotta say H E B. I don't even know what it means. You got Kmart no more. <laughs> no, we do got Kmart. There's they're Kmart. Selective, selective location. Same thing. Nobody got them either. Like Missouri, nobody got them either. There they is a Kmart. They, I'll tell you one. There's on one on ninety fifth. It's by the uh, Patillo's on 95th, and you're going you're going towards Ugh. Oak Lawn. Yeah, Oak Lawn. Yeah. yeah, where um, where the um, what, what's that uh, mall that used to be over there? Uh, mm-hmm. there's a mall that they just tore down uh, that mall on 95th. I think I've been there before. I don't remember. Evergreen. 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 Yeah, Evergreen. I've been there before. Now I I know I didn't know they tore down Evergreen. Yeah. So I go AKA there. Ever Black. What? What? AKA Ever Black, yeah. Yep. Ever Black. It's I remember, black. yeah, yeah. Because that was the <laughs> movement. I walked in there, it looked like it was just all no. of us migrated. No, like, it's gentrified now. Yeah. There's a Mod Pizza over there. A Mod Pizza yeah. in Evergreen. A Mod? That's what, it, that's what they call it. A Mod Pizza. Look it up. They Now, with the Mod Pizza, you can make your own pizza. But that's like. Papa, Papa, John. Papa, Papa Murphy's. Yes, it's yes. like Papa Murphy's. But, right. So that's their competition, we know. But continue. Yeah. But I, it's just. <laughs> it, we every, get some pluggers, all these people we shout out. <laughs> we need some sponsorship <laughs> ad space. Or please, please do. <laughs> because I don't, I don't understand. Like, I go to 71st and then they put a, a, a Starbucks right there. It blows my mind. What? Starbucks? Is that still owned by Magic Johnson? Is that a Magic I, Johnson? I don't Starbucks know. I, don't, I didn't even know he was into Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. And then and then oh, you he's in basketball teams. and then and I'm I try to you movie know movie theaters at, at movie one theater. point, I knew right. he had a movie theater. Mm-hmm. High Park had, had they've put a uh, well it's been there a few years now, but that move there's a movie theater now called uh, I think the Tavern or the right, uh, right, Harper right. Tavern. Right, that, the Harper Theater. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice movie theater, man. Yeah, that's a nice movie theater, and and it's a neighborhood movie theater. Right. So. um I ain't going I ain't going to keep you guys that long cuz I know we got to get back into the mix and stuff like that. But it was just nice to go down memory lane and yeah. t- and talk about back down memory It's memory lane, lane for y'all, but it's like getting me introduced to Chicago <laughs> history, man. No, I'm a, I'm a, uh, no, Trey G. Trey G. Trey G. What's up? Remember before Joe, before everybody say what up Joe. Uh-huh. Be- up, b- before the everybody logo. said, what is this? The logo. Oh. So oh, right now, y'all, we're right. looking at a logo that hasn't been released yet by Trey G. Oh, yeah, it's been but, released. It's on Facebook, Trey G the Ghost. There we go. He just plugged you know himself. But but he, before before everybody say, what up, Joe? Everybody used to say, hey, yo, Charlie. Yeah. He, everybody was Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah. How many Charlies is there in Chicago? <laughs> According to everybody, everybody's right, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Uh, now they're talking about old fold them gray. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. On shorty in them, though. Right. Shorty yeah. on fold them. On fold them. On, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Because that's a GD thing. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, ain't no GD thing. No, no, no. I, I don't trust that. <laughs> Every GD I know says that. No, and not GD. Not just GD said. I'm just saying. Ooh, Every GD I know. about. <laughs> I'm just saying. We, this is a disclaimer. This is this is not. This is our opinions. We're joking, y'all. We're not a part of any of these affiliations that you might think we are. <laughs> We're just talking about it with Lango that is now you know servicing and has disappeared. Just wanted to give y'all that. Yes, thank you. I'm just saying <laughs> that. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it, noticeably, <laughs> I've been noticing people been saying that all right. the, all the time. But used to be, I don't heard GD say that. 
now it's now I can't even tell. Oh well, if if I go like say like I go on 79th, right? Oh, this and they argue. The GDs argue with each other. Mm. They argue with each other. I'm GD from 79th. Mm. Oh, I'm GD from 82nd. Mm-hmm. What's so set? What's so set? I mean, the, all y'all the same thing. McDonald's down on so and so. So, <laughs> but you know, it, it's I'm a GD from Ida B. Wells. <laughs> I'm a GD from Woo Woo Woo. I'm a GD from uh, Bolingbrook. I'm a GD from Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Taco Bell for real, man. They, they, uh, what's that? Hot, buy hot blast is cold. I love, oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, uh-huh. no, no kudos. No. You, you don't like Taco Bell? Most I mean, people? the older you get, the more you realize how food is not really real. No, I'm talking about the drink. The oh, they the, drinks on point. And the blue they one. They can't be QT, but they drinks are on point. It, oh, man. See, what is QT? Quick trip? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, oh, I guess y'all don't. Do y'all got QT over? Nah, mm-hmm. but I know. I know about quick trip. I bet yeah. you do. Yeah. But I, I would say QT. <laughs> we would say QT. I'm done. Y'all silly. Y'all silly. I can't wait to. I, I, that's 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 the St. Louis thing. I'm, Oh, oh, so so if I go to St. Louis, what what can I look for? Where can I get some good barbecue at, man? I know, I know. St. Louis ain't known. We for got it, and I to be honest with you, I don't. Bandanas. Bandanas. Mm. Bandanas is down there, and mm. I don't really eat no bar. If it ain't my daddy cooking, I don't eat nobody else barbecue. I I went to Texas. I got spoiled, man. Man, they got barbecued out there though. Like, I I had some Texas barbecued barbecue. Like, it's a whole different grade of barbecue. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I ate pork that one time because I wanted to see what it tastes like. Mm. It made my head hurt the next day, but the barbecue was just so pure. Man, look, Trey G, is you, when you go to Texas, Trey G, come on, Trey, that come their on, barbecue vegan. is. I'm a vegan. That's cool. <laughs> you, see, you see, I just said Ooh. I don't do pork, but I took pork that one day Whatever. to eat that barbecue. Right? Whatever, Whatever, man. Man. You don't play with Whatever, me. Man. You can you can sit up here and lie to me, G. I'm care. done with y'all. I don't nah. even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great shot. <laughs> On that note, y'all go get some barbecue. Please do something because Trey G's a vegan. <laughs> I don't know what happened. 2018, man, he gone. No, uh-uh. He can't, uh-uh. Quick, uh, b- uh, quick question before we go. Um, well, I'm going to let you guys think about it. But uh, before we go, uh, I want you guys to... What is your goals for 2018, man? You know, uh, 18 is right upon us. Like, this year went by hella fast. So, um, what are you guys, you know, plans for 2018? What are you planning to do? Um, events, different stuff like that. Um, you know, any anything going on, uh, Flying B? Uh, for me, man, I want to be able to branch out and be able to go out and support more people's events and not be, like, constrained to a schedule. Is I really want to get behind you know different people's events and and do that uh, man you know be part of the movement as much as I can and everything yeah. whatsoever um, you know that's that's some of what I want to do yeah okay that's what it is Trey G what you doing man I'm I'm about, I'm about, I'm about health and wealth mm. I'm about to you know I got my membership at uh, Export I want to be in the gym like five days a week you know what mm. I'm saying. Um, and just worry about that, man. Focus on that. I'm supposed to have my weight loss surgery in March. Mm. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to drop at least 200 pounds. Mm. Real. That's real. I so like that. I'm, I'm, that's all I'm focused on. P, mm. what, what you got going on, man? Events. More events. More building. Um, I'm working on a new project called High Rise Experience in St. Louis where artists always want to throw their shows, but they don't know the steps to do it. I'm giving them a platform where they can headline and they can pick their co-stars. Um, reason why I said co-stars is because I will have a really high qualified videographer in there recording every show um, and be able to turn it into like a documentary or yeah. give, give them something to help them with the EPK. Also, helping people understand terminologies in the industry because I'm asking everybody to send EPKs. They're like, what are those? We're in 2018. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, it's a lot of people you that do not know. You should know what an EPK is by now. So, that's Eggs, another thing like bacon and cakes. <laughs> I'm done with you. Too. I'm done with it. Electronic so, kits. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, of course you know, but yeah, just the uh, high rise experience, which is some dope. Um, branching back, bringing uh, six Sundays back to St. Louis. Mm. Um, six Sundays started here, like I said earlier in the show, bringing it back to St. Louis. We done three last this year, but things had to change because I moved to Dallas, so I got to rebuild a team. Um, 
doing more blogs, traveling more. Traveling more. And I'm I'm getting back on my fitness kick. I don't know if y'all been on my IG lately, but I've been posting the last two days my abs. The last two days. Watch that stuff disappear and not pop up until after January 1st. But getting back into my fitness role, um, I have a new clothing line called Love Your Assets. Uh, mm. For females um, I'm probably gonna do Something big with that too Shout out to Pony For making my logo mm. Pony from Atlanta Fleet uh, She's an artist And a model um, Yeah Just just, just finding uh, Better ways To advance me Real. By helping others On the backside. That's what it is man uh, What I got going on uh, Launch party um, This is kind of Exclusive I've been Really Thinking about it I've been working On my website uh, Side Town Over Radio For like The past three weeks now and I've really been really going hard on that because I wanted to be an anchor for, you know, like I said, presentation. So I've been working on that and I want to do a launch party um, for it. So and then, you know, incorporate the fleet DJs and, and stuff like that. Um, that's what's going on. Um, if you didn't know, and this is probably exclusive to everybody, um, I'm moving in April. Um it's you know it's his town you know it's 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 nice to you know be here and, and at home but i have b- big opportunities and i want to grow and it's time for me to you know get out and 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 you know make something happen for myself i got kids man i'm, I'm and i'm turning 30 this year i gave myself a time limit wait, wait, um yeah all 30 i mean we put an age on here. Y'all are really team 30. Oh, my God. Y'all not ashamed or nothing like that? No. Mm-mm. I'm the only female in here, and I'm actually happy to feel comfortable to say I'm going to be 30 in July. That's good. Cool. Oh. I don't normally say ages on nothing, you know. But that, that must be exclusive. What the heck? That is exclusive. Go ahead. Yeah. You are? I made the 30 club. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. You're in the forty club. Right. No, no. I, was I, I thought you was like thirty on. I did. Flat. No, you know who also turning thirty? Side Town is turning thirty this yeah. year. So a lot of people are turning thirty. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But um, you know, I told myself by thirty five, if nothing happened, I'm getting a nine to five or something. Where I went to school, so I'm gonna get something that that benefits what I went to school for. Um, but during that time, I plan to be big. So I'm going to strive these five years.